NPK 2023 will be interesting. I don't see a slam dunk for Ryan. There will be several challengers coming for the title this year. Really? You think so? You think so, Andre Moto? I hope so. I hope it's not going to be just Ryan runs away with the title again. I know you could say, oh, he didn't run away with it last season or the season before. It came down to the final race. But in those final races, it needed like pretty extreme, crazy thing to take place. But still, it was like, it did come down to the final race. So you could say, but like Ryan dominated the entirety of the season. Kat Kelly and Lizzie Musi, their marriage almost fell apart. Because of how competitive everyone was with trying to beat Ryan. But Ryan's just on just a different, he's been on a different level in No Prep Kings. And honestly, if he comes out with this second car, if he has two cars for this season, I don't think there's going to be competing with him. Trip Rogers, like you just said right there, we said that last year. We did. We said those exact same words last year. There's so many guys coming for. Ryan Martin this year, no way he's going to just run away with the title once again. Andre Moto, I hope you're right. I hope it's super competitive this year, but with Ryan coming out with potentially two cars, like, forget the real reasons why he's doing that. So per track, altitude, temperature, weather, all that stuff, he can pick which power adder and which setup he likes better. Forget that. The longevity alone, the less wear and tear on the parts is going to give him a huge advantage over everyone else. Like Ryan's just going to be, he's, they're, they're going to have to implement, impose some rules that specifically nerf Ryan because he's just too fast. Like I genuinely want it to be as competitive as possible. And if that means Ryan doesn't win, I, call me a Ryan Martin hater then because I want to see someone else win. Ryan's won three years in a row. I want to see someone else win. I think it'd be cool. Because if you really think about like, we had Mike Morello and Birdman as the champions. They're obsolete, just irrelevant right now in no prep Kings. Like no disrespect to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that stuff. But like, it's the truth. Then you look at who's won the next three. Ryan Martin, Ryan Martin, Ryan Martin. We've had five seasons. Birdman, Murillo, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. When Birdman or Murillo won, I'm pretty sure it was pretty close. Birdman, I think, kind of ran away a little bit. But Mike Murillo, I think, like, only won one race. Like, overall race during the season he won. Or two, like, really small number. But, like, you look at the total event wins. Ryan has more event wins than every other driver combined. As I'm talking about this more, no one's competing with Ryan. He's just... He, there's no way. Andre Moto, it won't be easy, but there are a bunch of others that know what they need to do. Looking at the last two seasons, I don't think really anyone was really prepared to beat Ryan. I will agree with you on that point because you look at the end of last season in particular, a lot of guys you could tell were figuring stuff out. Like we were saying, um, John Odom, Jim Howe, Kayla Morton. Those are three names I think we should look out for for sure next season. Then obviously names that I instantly put up in that top caliber once again, Kai Kelly, Liz and UC, Justin Swanstrom. So if you, those six names, if any one of them could mess with Ryan every single race, then there's a chance because uh, you just need that. You need more people like that because the past couple seasons, it's just been Lizzie, Kai and Swanstrom that could really mess with Ryan at all. Occasionally like the bird bros and that stuff, but for the most part, it's just those three. Double that, give it to six. It might be more competitive then. I hope it is. I hope it's, I hope this next season is the most competitive season we've ever seen for No Prep Kings.